This is me here. So remember I did a review uh, or a video today on the Go Transit Iconic Replicas MCI D4505 bus. Well, today we're going to look at the new, we're going to look at another model that was also new. I believe this is the 2018, although it doesn't say what year it is, but it's the tw 2018 in real life New Flyer Excelsior XE40 Electrical or electric transit bus from the Toronto Transit Commission, also known as the TTC for short. And it's an electric green bus. They also call it the green. And it's a limited edition, just like the MCI one. I'm pretty sure these coach buses that have this uh, same box are always going to say limited edition, so it's kind of confusing. I wouldn't call this a limited edition. I would call this rare, because uh, you, I, uh, my parents told me that they uh, they looked into the website and they didn't see this one but they saw the double decker one but I told them for Christmas that I did not want it to get the double decker because I wasn't interested in it like right now I just wanted these two although I was about to get the other one the flexible but they didn't have it though the the my parents said that the guy that they got it from did have it but it was a long time ago um but yeah, we're going to take a look at this uh, new Flyer Excelsior bus. It's a limited edition, collector's edition model bus. It says this model of the TDC first fully electricity bus celebrates a key milestone on our path to zero emissions fleet by two by 2040. Okay. The fleet number on this one looks like it says 3700. Um, but yeah, here's the bottom of it. It's kind of similar to this one. They both have the company of the makers of the, uh, whatever. New Flyer Industries, I believe, is actually in Winnipeg, Manitoba. I live in Ontario, so that's very, very far. But it is near, obviously. Manitoba is right beside Ontario. And I actually seen this real life one, this exact one. And I believe I also saw one with these types of rims, but for some reason they didn't, they did not paint it. But it still looks okay though, none of the less. It's supposed to look like the very, very prototype one. And then they start to paint the wheels red, but I don't want to customize this. Um, it says a detailed die cast. This is a collector. This adult collector doesn't say what age is for, but I would imagine it's for ages 14 years old. Because it says that it's not suitable for kids under the age of 14. Um, yeah. I remember I had a brother who just, when he saw this, he just instantly was screaming. And he said, I want this bus model. And I said, no, I had to keep it away. Because these are models, they're not toys. And it says electric bus. I forgot to show you the back. Yeah, this, this just like the Go Transit, it has this green, you know. Everything is green, green, green. And now I'm going to take the tape off. You can actually cut the tape off. Uh, I can actually peel the tape off like this. How simple is that? Um, and then I got to do it to the... I think it's this one. I just take, take the tape off. I don't even need scissors. I can just peel it off. Although sometimes you do it for short. Let's take a look at it. Wow. There we go. Oh my goodness, look how nice this is. Since this has four wheels, there's no single axle. It's just one axle is single and the other one is... um. But it's just like a regular transit bus. Here is the TDC Excelsior bus. Oh my goodness, this model, to be honest, is very, very cool looking. I've never been on it before, but it looks very, very fun. It's very nice that we get to have the new flyer buses. All of the other new flyer ones were retired, though, a long time ago. Um, yeah, look at this. This is really, really cool. I really love this bus. This is actually one of my favorite ones, and you know what? Because it's red, I like it. Okay, so before I talk about the details, I actually want to compare the sizes between the MCI D4505 with the other one. Okay, so let's take a look at the height. 
I heard that this one here is bigger, but it looks kind of smaller. Um, you know what? They're about the same size, actually. Although, I don't know if it's me or if it's the box. Actually, I can... Let me do it, um... I want to do it somewhere uh, smooth or somewhere where it's nice to tell how sizes it'll be back. Okay, so here's the height of the bus. To be honest, they're actually the same, like the height is the same, like they're about the same height. But for some reason, I don't know if it's me, but the Go Transit one looks slightly taller. Um, if it's a little bit taller than this one, it's okay because these uh, motor coach buses are supposed to be slightly taller. Uh, well, they're not supposed to be too big, but they're not supposed to be as, like, they're supposed to be taller than this. Maybe it's just, uh, maybe it's actually supposed to be like that because it has these things on the top anyway, so it makes it taller, I don't know. But yeah. Okay, so as far as the length, it's actually, uh, for some reason, this one is actually longer than the, um, TDC one, the uh, Go Transit. So this one is like, uh, I don't know, shorter. I think it's supposed to be like that because I think these are, because sometimes there's like longer versions of these and sometimes there are some that are not long. Um, but I, I think the size for the Go Transit, I think it is accurate. I think it should be longer and a little bit more bigger, but mm, I don't know, but should be, I don't know. I mean... They're both 187 scale. I think the coach bus is supposed to be slightly bigger, which is okay. Like, it's fair enough. I mean, because I I, I believe that the um, these types of buses are supposed to be slightly taller and bigger than these ones. But they're not as tall as a double-decker bus, you know. A double-decker bus is taller. Um, I should also mention they both have the silver rims, although the rims for one of these buses are slightly different. I like how they use the same rim for this one. Um, I forgot to mention in the video that it also has a Metrolinx. Yeah, it has this uh, Metrolinx like uh, color where it has um, a different shade of green and a different shade of green again. I kind of find that nice actually. Um. This one is one of my favorites, actually. I I I actually really like like this one. It kind of reminds me of the um. I kind of got confused and thought that this was the same one as the very popular iconic replicas New York uh New Flyer Excelsior bus. I actually found out that one is supposed to be a CNG and the other one is an electric. This is the electrical one. They're both good, anyways. I kind of like this one more. And I like how they use the color for the base. It's, it's really nice. It's my favorite color, red. Um, It has this uh, red base. It's not like the other one where it's as detailed as this one. This one has slightly bit of detail. Um, This one is just all flat. I like how they did do the crease there. Eh. The only good thing that they did was that they added the base in the name. It just says New Flyer Excelsior. Um, for some reason, it doesn't really say the exact number if it's an X40 or something. Um, I'm not sure, but it doesn't say that for some reason. But it's okay, though. I mean, I'll never throw the box away. I would always keep it. Um, the windows are actually so dark that you barely can't even see it unless if I shine it through the light. If I shine it there... You can see it, but it's so dark. It's a lot darker than this one. This one you can see at least. And I like how they did this uh, electricity bus logo thing. They added this um, thing. I actually took a picture of this exact one where it had this uh, electricity thing also. Um, it has the Toronto Transit Commission logo. That's the back of it. It even has the Toronto uh, logo with the uh, City Hall. It has the Government of Ontario logo and the Canada logo. It has all those logos that you would see in commercials and 
pretty much when you like publicly publicly you know just like the go transit one it also has a yield a yield or a yield sign kind of like a caution thing um it also has a grill there as well and it has two red lights one indicator on each of the sides and then it has a reversing light and something funny i found i thought I thought that the mirror on this was crooked and it was like not a supposed to be like that. But it it, it turns out it was actually supposed to be formed like that. It's not supposed to be straight. Um it's not like they bended it. They actually like this doesn't feel like they bended. It. it feels like it came like that. Um unlike the Go Transit one and the other buses, they don't have a number on the top due to this electricity thing. I like how they did added these uh, exit doors, so if the bus tips over like this, they can exit out. Um, this one, I don't know if it's me, but this one looks like the mirror on this one is about to break off than this one, even though they the mirrors on those can break off too. Um, it's not gonna break off unless if I break it, but I don't. I'm not like one of those crazy kids. It has a nice black bumper on the other side too. Um, it's really, really awesome, and just trying to let you know, the top of it is plastic, while the bottom of it is metal. For some reason, I kind of find this one heavier than this one, even though they're both heavy. Um, I also want to show you the comparison of the regular toy buses that you would get. Look at the size difference. It's a lot bigger, and you know what? It's actually accurate. Although, the problem though is that this car is kind of big, but the size is not as, um, it's not as small as this one. This one is worse, the scale for this one. It goes well for other vehicles like trucks, and I was thinking if I can tow this one. This one looks like you could, but I don't think so. I'm gonna see if it works, and if it doesn't, um, I'll be back. If you don't know how this uh, Western Star Real Working Rigs Matchbox truck works, uh, it has to be pulled like that. Wait, what the heck? Okay, that was really weird. It just went back up and then it just got stuck again. Okay, I got it out finally. Can you tow a? Can you tow a iconic replicas? The answer is a big no. I tried my best, and look at this. This is what I get. It's actually scraping the ground. Um, I don't know if it'll... Like I said, this is another one... Well, the Go Transit one, you were able to tow it at least, because the, the bumper, I guess, wasn't too long, but this the front of this one is, like, way too long, the wheel. So because of this, it's, um... It just... It's not enough room. The only good thing you can do for displays, you can only display like this, but it's not perfect though. It's okay for display, but when you want to tow it, it's not really... I mean, you can... No, the hook is too far. No, you're not able to tow this vehicle with it. Um, so the answer for towing uh, a bus is a big no. Maybe for some other tow trucks that are also toys or models, they may tow this bus too. I'm not sure, but this is the most accurate tow truck I ever had. And it's a Western Star. This one, because it's from Matchbox, it's not like an HO scale model. It's kind of nice, although since this is a, a truck, sometimes this thing could break off. Um, yeah. Um, I also wanted to mention something even nice that I found out. Um, the mirrors on that one was a little bit dull, but this one is actually shiny. I think it's chrome or something that they painted. If I, it's hard to see, but when I put my, and that's really, really difficult to see, but if I put my, um, how do you do this? It's really, really tricky. Okay, so if I put my finger, I put my finger there or something. 
I don't know, it's really, really difficult to see, but it actually does reflect. It actually is a mirror. You can actually, well, you won't be able to do it, but you can kind of see yourself a little bit. Not your face, but you can, like, if you put your nail there, you can see your nail. It's like they, um, I think they spray painted it chrome or something, or they, like, use a brush or something. That would be impossible. Um, I don't know, but... To me, that would be very hard to make, but they did a really good job for this. And as far as the whole thing, the whole thing actually looks a lot more correct than this one. They actually used the wrong type of MCI bus for this, but it's not that ugly, though. I think it looks perfect, even though it's not the exact model, but it's not as bad. I mean, I saw other ones that they totally messed it up, you know, um... I don't know. I just liked it this one because even though the front of it may not look the same, it's still like the body shape. It just still reminded me of the one that I saw in the CNE. This one I got because it was one of my favorites and I always love the TDC buses. I have been on the TDC buses since I was a kid. Since I was probably a baby. Um, I also... Um, what is it called? Um had memorabilia of TDC buses, and I remember I was trying to see one of my cousin's father, and when I was in the hospital looking up, I saw these buses, these, uh, it was at Wilson, or whatever it is, Wilson Avenue or something, and there were these buses that were electricity, they had a Nova one, I decided to, uh, take a picture of the new Flyer Excelsior one, because since that model existed, this one, um, I decided to get this one. It's nice to get these new flyer buses for the TDC. And I forgot to say that it also has a accessibility sign. So now these newer buses, for some reason, are a lot more accessible than the old ones. And this one also has the, um, the wheelchair sign also. They're both good models, as far as I know. But yeah, here it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give a like below and please subscribe. And uh, the very last videos, uh, two more videos I'll be doing would be the next one could be the Mac Anthem. Uh, truck cab that is from Greenlight, another diecast model, high quality models, not for kids. Um, and also... I might even show reviews on these old uh, vehicles that I got from Christmas. These uh, antique ones. Not these ones. Forget about these ones. Um, I don't know about this one. Um, it was this uh, cement mixer that I showed you and this uh, green dump truck. Um, I'll show those ones later. But for now, this is what I wanted to do a review on. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And please go like below and please subscribe and... I'll see you in the next videos, and have a happy New Year's and happy holidays, and stay safe. Goodbye. Beep! 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 <coughs>